Hello, my name is Radwan Baroudi. I'm a PhD student at Okan University of Istanbul with Ecological Design Principles of Housing Settlement course with Professor Dr. Samih Arildus. I will speak about eco-material comparison between the new concept of different material used in sustainable buildings and then prepare a proposal designed for a refugees camp in northern of Lebanon. This project is divided into two sections. First, uh, a research about eco-material and then uh, a proposal uh, design project. Uh, first, with the, within the this research, we will see uh, an introduction about eco material, eco materials characteristic, comparable uh, different comparable materials, different new techniques, and then uh, within the uh, design design project, uh, we will see site location and site uh, analysis, design concept, and then the design proposal. Starting with the introduction, eco-materials as characterized as those materials that improve the natural advancement all through the full natural life cycle, whereas keeping up responsible execution, eco-materials perform a key role in material science and, uh, and innovation to play down natural impact, uh, upgrade the recyclability of materials, and then uh, to extend the uh, vitality of uh, fabric productivity. The economically sustainable building um, consolidate uh, multi-techniques amid plan, development, and operation of building extent. Utilizing green building materials in, uh, in development is said to be sustainable design. The green materials are, uh, are natural capable materials as they offer assistance in decreasing natural effect. Eco materials have uh, multiple characteristics such as uh, material efficiency by using sustainable building resources and such as other strategies. Two, water efficiency while using low uh, movement plumbing feature, rain collecting by roof, uh, rooftop plan plum plumbing, and uh, using absorbent pavement structure and other approaches. Three, energy efficiency by using some building energy conservation strategies and using of mechanism and sustainable renewable strategies for indoor environment uh, quality uh, by ensuring the good ventilation system with natural heating and ventilation and cooling system and finally waste management uh, when using green planning principles and standards manufacturing less quality of waste and uh, reusing materials. Within this project, there is a comparison between uh, different materials uh, and then to compare the uh, old material and traditional materials with new techniques for using uh, materials to, uh, to be uh, such as eco-materials. Starting with the materials that is from soil, uh, adobe, where soil is utilized in many uh, diverse ways uh, within the buildings. The vital and most characteristic utilized are for the development and dividers utilizing sun-dried bricks adobe, where the two divider clears out are joined together utilizing the same clay soil. Soil in, uh, is additionally utilized for joints as a filling mortar and for the development of cons uh, conventional dividers utilizing terminated adobe. After soil materials, vegetation is the most source of building assets, and wood in different forms and modes is the famous or foremost critical component. Definitely, wood is without a doubt the foremost uh, broadly utilized development materials uh, for residents and buildings around the world and uh, also uh, every construction around the world uh, in a new techniques and uh, after the eco materials uh, we can say that uh, recycled wood is start to be more uh, efficiency and more efficient for using uh, for using it uh, within the 
Eco Buildings and Sustainable Buildings. Recycled wood has several criteria, uh, such as water res resistance uh, with high water absorption coefficient percentage. Then weather res resistance. The time span of outdoor home products of general wood is normally about 10 years. Heat resistance and abrasive resistance. Concrete may be a composite uh, material composed of uh, fine and cross and uh, coarse total uh, fortified uh, in conjunction with the liquid uh, cement, uh, cement glue and uh, curves. Uh, numerous material uh, counting concrete can be reused and uh, reused in uh, different ways. The method of uh, recycling concrete change uh, and the final strategy for each extent will depend on uh, the estimate of uh, shape uh, of the concrete pieces reused. How to recycle? First step, smash the huge pieces of concrete with uh, uncommon me me mechanical gear. Second step, uh, eliminate any grime or uh, soiling element. Third step, uh, Unscrambling the concrete into small and large aggregate. Recycled concrete uh, have uh, different advantages, such as decreases the production and waste, decreasing prices, lowering shipping and transportation costs. While uh, it could be recycled around the construction sites, and the most import, uh, important uh, that recycling concrete is able to help with the earning the lead certification notes. Three D printed construction as the new techniques to use uh, concrete material, where three D printing has long been utilized within the fabricating uh, se uh, segment as a way to computerize speed lead generation of uh, and reduce waste materials. It's able to construct a wide ass uh, assortment of objects in case the fundamental determinations are given to the printer and no issues are displayed by the restricted run of material accessibility. Uh, as characteristics for uh, 3D printing, uh, further combination of computer modeling, implication on, uh, on labors, waste reduction, rapidity, and uh, appropriateness for large-scale mass development. 3D printed construction have uh, also limitations such as inc uh, incompatibility of uh, the available mechanical automated fabrication equipment for huge scale pro uh, produce. On, cons uh, on consideration, less significant ra ratio of uh, the quantity of final produces as compared with uh, other industries. Economic uh, attractiveness for expensive automated equipment, limita limitation in the materials that could be employed by an automated system. As a case study for 3D printed building, uh, in March 2013, a Chinese company, uh, which now Winsun, made a design for 3D printed building and then constructed it. Uh, Winsun company claimed to have printed uh, 10 houses employing an exclu uh, exclusive 3D printer that uh, employment a blend of ground development and mechanical uh, squander such as glass and tailings around a base quick uh, drying uh, cement blend with uh, with an uncommon solidifying uh, operator. Uh, Yinson was able to print the shells of 10 one-room structure in 24, 24 hours uh, and uh, with uh, with toll of as it were approximately five thousand dollars per building. Choosing a camp for Syrian refuge refugees in northern of Lebanon, uh, which name is Mini Mini Camp, as a site location for uh, the proposal design. Uh, that can help uh, after the research that have done uh, with the eco materials uh, with an area of 
15,000 meters square land and 10,000 uh, 10, meters square used area with a population around 70 families. The situation of this uh, camp in December, in December 20, uh, 2020, a huge fire happened in the refugees camp of El Mini uh, in the north of Lebanon, where most of the shelter unit had damage. So that the the main idea of the design proposal is to uh, to make a new prototype of shelter unit using uh, the new techniques of eco materials and 3D printed construction and to make design for a common area to be ecological and sustainable. The, shelter, uh, the shelters were divided onto, uh, onto area. The study design aimed to join them uh, in one defined area, as uh, seen in the uh, site analysis in the next slide. After the study that made, that made about the concept of eco-material and the new 3D printer construction techniques, there are some recommendations to design a shelter unit in the refugees camp northern, uh, of, in northern of Lebanon and then to combine it with the, to be an appropriate area that could live in it, uh, you, uh, such as using recycled materials such as wood for the interior uh, partition and flooring for the fur and furniture using recycled concrete uh, as it could be used, using the 3D printing technique, make a landscape design and use uh, the recycled material, using, uh, using of renewable energy and uh, invent a material that could help with production of energy such as solar panels, collect rainwater and reuse it within the landscape. In this project, there is a need for uh, an appropriate uh, area to live in it with uh, some facilities that could help the refugees and neighborhood areas such as the small school, uh, education center and medical center that cost customized for emergency case and operation uh, and outpatient clinics. In addition to a court and playground and uh, gathering area for the camp habitant and small parking. As a program, uh, we have shelter for 70 fam families, medical center, education center, outdoor court park, and landscape parking with the total spaces for uh, this function as approximately 7,000 meters square. We can see here the proposal zoning uh, of the land uh, and functions uh, on the uh, refugee scan, such as we can put the shelters in the side and the, in the entrance we can put the education center, the medical center, and in the center of the land we can uh, put the playground area, green area, uh, to use it with agric agriculture, such as this area is uh, a little bit uh, agricultural area in Lebanon and uh, it should put a spore uh, court that could help uh, refugees
Within the next three slides, you can see the, uh, the design concept, the design proposal, as such as layout, plans, and the details for the uh, for the shelters, and some perspective view uh, as propo uh, as proposed for the design shelter unit for the uh, refugees camp in northern of Lebanon.
finally, thank you for listening to me and special thanks for Professor Dr. Samih uh, Ariadas with helping us in this semester.